Hey everyone, um, my video froze at the end, so I just want to make sure that we finish things up. I realize that we've been I've been speaking at you or at this computer for the last hour, so I'm going to try and be quick about this. So, anyways, we're still on module four. We're still talking about uh, the cell film assignment. Okay, um, so situated in your everyday embodied experience in your work for module four, producing a one minute and thirty second cell film. You will produce an evocative visual response to demonstrate how you picture environmental change. Fun. Do your best to resist using theory to over-describe or analyze your visual representation. Rather, consider the lateral connections your thinking draws to the big picture of your message or reading of a particular idea of environmental change, okay? So don't feel like your video needs to be theoretical. I want your video to focus on the, the main message you're trying to express through it, okay? I, I realize that some of this might be unclear and confusing, and I don't expect you to know everything about participatory visual research or visual research in, in general at this point, but you'll have a wonderful introduction um, in a few months, okay? So we're all gonna produce one minute and 30 second cell films, okay? Additional explication and cell film examples are posted on, Mo on, on Moodle. Along with your video submissions, I'm going to ask that you write a two to 300 word description of your processes, okay? What the idea of environmental change is, uh, how you've gone about addressing it, what the message of your video is, et cetera, and how you, how you filmed it, okay? Let me know if you have any questions and support, and please know that I do a lot of participatory visual research, so I'm happy to help out if you want to discuss it. Okay, module five, radical hope and sustainable solution. And this ties into the third branch of my research, uh, which really looks at how educators could, can teach radical hope in anthropogenic, anthropogenic climate change. Oh, I always struggle with that word, anthropogenic climate change. Yeah, so human created climate change, right? We're, we're currently inhabiting the Anthropocene and, uh, and we're gonna require some uh, radical transitions if, um, if the planet's gonna make it. Um, yeah, so we gotta stay positive and we can do this, all right? Everything, everything makes a difference at this point. So in this final assignment, which is uh, not meant to be a lengthy report or anything like that, I'm gonna ask that you identify a source of vigor, okay? close to you and your community. It may be a group, it may be an NGO, it may be a person you know, uh, it may be a, a local initiative, it could be a business, um, it could be a technology, it could be a government program, uh, it could be an education initiative, a policy or a plan, et cetera, okay? So just focus on one thing that inspires you uh, to, to do something differently and uh, tell us a little bit about it, all right? And so I want, you know, the group, NGO, individual initiative, government plan, program, policy, whatever, to be addressing a particular sustainability issue close to where you live. And there are many going on all across Canada. Um, the source of vigor may be designed to address a cultural, economic, social, environmental pro problem in an urban or rural context. Now, if, if you're not into doing something um, close to your local community, if you'd like to do something with uh, an initiative somewhere else in the, on the planet, that's totally fine too, all right? Absolutely. Um, so your assignment in this module is to identify your source of vigor. It may be a group, NGO, individual initiative, business, technology, government program, educational initiative, policy plan, et cetera, that is addressing sustainability. Um, yeah, what I want you to do, um, but you don't have to, is identify your source of vigor, provide an overview of the issue or issues they are seeking to challenge and change. I want you to describe the mission, approach, and programs of the source of vigor. You might want to interview someone, a member of the organization or a beneficiary of the work to get further insights and a personal dimension, right? Um, consider future directions, key challenges and successes, and strategic plans going forward. And um, you're going to link to any internet presence, websites, videos, or online information that may exist. And then choose a way to best present your research to share your source of vigor with others. So you might want to consider adding it to your blog, 
right? And um, as I said before, um, this is not meant to be a lengthy assignment. So consider including multimedia, maybe a podcast. You might want to do a podcast or you might want to just film the interview that you have and ask five questions, keep it to 10 minutes or less. Um, links to documents, websites, or whatever's appropriate. Think about how you might best disseminate the research that you conduct through online sources, whether that be a blog, could be a video, as I mentioned. Uh, you can add it to the website that you've created, um, right? Social media, right on. Um, consider using headings. Key points, bulleted list is fine for this assignment or shorter paragraphs. It could be done artistically. It could be done graphically, um, right? Things that readily convey the information and makes it accessible to a general audience, right? Part of this course is making some of this very complex uh, information around and encircling sustainability accessible to a wider range of audiences. And part of uh, ensuring that all of our submissions are public is, um, is one way that we go about doing that. So your assessment will be based on the following, that you've cho uh, chosen an appropriate individual organization or initiative and that it's identified uh, and that it can meet the, the objective of the project and the theme of this module of Radical Hope and Finding Sustainable Solutions. Uh, that the focus of the program of the Source of Vigor is clearly described and that it addresses a cultural, economic, social or environmental challenge in uh, an urban or rural context. Uh, that the primary work of the mission approach programs is clearly delineate, dele delineated and described to allow for a full understanding by the reader. That there's an effort to contact the chosen source of vigor and provide further insight and a personal dimension. Future directions, outline the key challenges, et cetera, and the successes, whatever and that the information is provided to provide context, right? That you're providing links to websites, internet presence, video, and other online information that would be useful to your audience. And that you've chosen an appropriate and effective method to present and share your source of vigor, okay? And, and special consideration will be given to including multimedia, podcast interviews, a video, links to documents, websites, et cetera. OK, and um, like in all other assignments, if you're citing course material or other material, you need to have a reference list and everything needs to be cited using APA formatting. All right. Um, yeah, look, I've gone through all the assignments. Um, I want to just let you know that I'm here to support your success and that the institution uh, that you're all a part of CBU is also um, also responsible for supporting you throughout this program. So if there's anything the institution can do, let me know, get in contact with the appropriate uh, departments within CBU, and I'm happy to, to help connect some, some people with those departments for, for whatever reason, all right? Um, you'll see that there are some notes on late and missed assignments. Uh, here's one of um, the sections of the syllabus that has to be here. Uh, if you're having trouble, Look, it's COVID, uh, you're all working professionals, uh, you're all very busy, I know that, I appreciate that. Uh, if you can't make an assignment, let me know and we'll figure something out, okay? No worries. Uh, office hours, look, this is a graduate level course. Uh, I'm used to spending a lot of time with graduate students. You're welcome to contact me, you're welcome to have meetings with me. I am a human being, I'm here to help, I'm, I, I wanna meet you. I want to make sure that you're getting a lot out of this course and that I'm helping in whatever way possible. And, uh, and, and like I've said before, I'm going to learn a lot from you. So it's, it's in my benefit that we meet as well, too. So, yeah, email me and we'll set up an appointment. Um, and so just to conclude, I'm going to I'm going to reiterate that um, it's the first or it's the second week of class or, we're, you know, five, six days into the semester. Now, it would be awesome if we can all set up a time to meet online. All right, just so we can check in, I can hear a little bit more about you, uh, about what you're up to, what you wanna get out of this course, and how we might be able to structure particular assignments so that they're benefiting you personally, socially, professionally, whatever, okay? So, huh, it's been a long video, I'm sorry about that, I didn't think it would be this long. 
I'm sorry again if if I've confused you more than clarified during these uh, this reading of the syllabus. Uh, get in touch, and I promise to make all this information uh, more clear if it's not already. Awesome. Talk soon, everybody. Hope to hear from you, and I, I look forward to meeting with many of you online this week. All right. Any questions? Let me know. Bye now.